Uh, it's quite difficult to accept because you just have to be like, oh, that looks bad. But then what is up, everyone? And welcome back to another Ref6 weekly vlog. So we have a special vlog this week. It is a, I'm going to have to say, international appointment because I have to get a flight to my game. So we have got a game in Guernsey. It's bank holiday weekend. It's Thursday today. I have a game Saturday and I'm preparing for the game on, the, on Monday. So like I said, we're in Guernsey. I have to get up nice and early on bank holiday Monday for a 12 o'clock kickoff. I have to fly to Guernsey. So come along for the show. Um, in terms of training this week, it's been quite simple. You'd have seen in last week's vlog, it's exactly the same as that. The only difference will be Sunday, which I'll take you through. It'll have to be a recovery session um, from Saturday's game to Sunday to be prepared for Monday. So it's all about, you know, preparing my body in the right way. So I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to do some yoga. So I'm going to let you know how I'm getting on. So I'm very excited. Guernsey away. It's going to be a long day though. I've got to leave the house quarter to six uh, and I'll be home at roughly nine o'clock at night so it's a long day I'm going to be very tired but I'm very much looking forward to it so join me in my quest for my first international appointment from the FA Guernsey away let's get it okay so that's the recovery session done obviously game yesterday and it's Sunday today so I've gone in the pool had my swim um, feeling quite good actually legs aren't as heavy as I want as, as I thought so my ref six stats from yesterday are here um, from yesterday's game so 4k a few high sprints so you know I still put a lot of pressure on my legs that hyper focusness that we've spoken before about was there so mentally you know it's about now preparing gearing up for the rest of the day so because it's such an early start tomorrow my plan for the rest of the day is eat as many car um, as much carbs as humanly possible because it's an early start and pack my kit bag so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pack my bag about eight o'clock and i'll take you through it because it's a bigger bag today um so yeah come along uh, as we start to gear up for what is going to be a really nice day so the time is seven o'clock in the evening and i know i don't like to do this but my alarm is set for 5 15 a.m so i'm going to pack my kit bag tonight uh, and make sure that we're ready to go on the road um so i can get up have some food and go rather than faff about in the morning because if I wake anybody up there's going to be a price to pay so this is what I'm packing for Guernsey away we've got one pair of football boots two pairs of football boots with a towel one boot bag two boot bag and a bag for dirty washing under shorts under top socks both the true socks and the Nike socks we've got one warm-up top one warm-up mid-layer pair of shorts refs tech buzzer flags we've got my normal white collar uh referee top and we've got the new referee kit that i've had to source it's been a nightmare but it's looking good so there they are side by side there will be a full review soon now this is the bag i'm gonna have to bring because it's bigger than my other bag and i've got to put my buzzer flags in here as well we've got Two energy gels. We've got black currant, apple. We've also got two sets of tablets in case the boys want one. We've got berry. We've got strawberry lime. We've got Harry by Star Mix. We've got a bottle to put all this in. We've got my wash bag with, you know, usual washing stuff in it. My speaker and my box of tricks. So the plan is to pack all this stuff up, get it ready and rearing for tomorrow. And then we head off. Obviously, look at the new kit. Oh, it's very nice. Pack all this up, get ready to go for first thing tomorrow. Well, good morning. The time is currently half past five in the morning. And I'm having some food, as you can tell. Kickoff is in six and a half hours. <laughs> so I'll probably eat here and try and grab a sandwich at the airport. But yeah, I'm pretty tired, won't lie. So, you know, breakfast is beans on toast with cheese and hot sauce. Um, I'm gonna eat this up and go. My bag's packed and I'm about to put it in the car. So, you know, so far so good. Let's let's go get the shot on the road. I'm quite excited actually. Um, just a bit tired at the moment, but I'm sure I'll wake up in the car because I'll be listening to this pre-match uh, playlist and so will the others. So I'll catch you guys at the airport. <laughs>
Okay, so our flight has been delayed an hour and a half, so what better time to do our debrief than in the airport? So I'm here with... Patrick. Patrick yeah. who is a level four, a new level four as well. Yeah, new level four. So he's obviously had the pleasure of coming to Guernsey today, um, but obviously it's a long day. How have you felt the day's been so far? Yeah, I think it's been a really good day. I mean, just you said, John, it's yeah, long, tiring at the airport for, what was it, seven o'clock? Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we're just sitting in the airport lounge, why it's been delayed, but all in all, it's been a really good fun day out. Yeah, and how did you find the game personally? Yeah, I thought the game was a bit slow to get going, just initially, maybe from my point of view, but John was right on the ball from minute one. Yeah. He had to give a penalty in the first two minutes, and yeah. he was right on top of it to give it, so that was really good from today's game. Did you think it was a penalty? Yeah, absolutely. It was a it was basically it was a clear trip in the box, nice and easy, no one complained about it, and it was all good for my end as well. Yeah, so obviously minute one penalty is quite tough to give. Um, we had two other penalty appeals as well. Yeah, one we for did. handball and one for a push. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, all your end yeah they're all at my end. All yeah. at my end. Uh, no, they were never penalties in my opinion. Uh, the handball, potential handball. <laughs> Arm was in a natural position from where I could see, and then the potential of a trip wasn't it on the yeah. far side. But it's gone down way too easily there for me. Yeah, so just on the far side. Perfect. So, yeah. so we had five portions, two for delaying the restart, huh? yeah. and three for tackles. Um, did you think I got any wrong, missed any? Yeah, I think it's really good that you spotted the ones for delaying the restart because I know that that's something that we're looking to try and plan yeah, down yeah, on absolutely. this season. And I liked how the approach you used. I thought you spoke to the keeper very well, and then once it's sort of gone beyond this reasonable level, you've then, you've then gone and cautioned and yep. really, really good. So, obviously, you've, you've seen me from the sidelines. Is there anything you would pick up on for next time? Yeah, I think maybe one thing, both myself and Dom, who was the other assistant in this game today, we both sort of mentioned that, that uh, potentially your whistle could have been a little bit stronger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just from the penalty, just a really short, sharp blast, because that's all it needed. Yeah. Just maybe a bit louder. Yeah, I think but, that's totally fine. Apart from that, mate, top work today. Yeah, so we're, we're obviously happy that the, the game's done as well. I thought you came in with two brilliant flags as well, which obviously means I can give you more confidence as well. You gave me one with the goalkeeper, the foul on the goalkeeper, and you gave me another one in the second half. It was a foul on the two at the centre back, which is great. Obviously, in my pre match, I said, you know, if you feel credible and stuff, and did that give you confidence in my pre match yeah. to give Yeah, them? absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, it was really good. And I thought, thought as a team, we worked really well today. I thought absolutely. there was nice, positive communication throughout. So, hopefully, we all enjoyed it. That's yeah. for certain. So, yeah. Absolutely. So, hopefully, we can work each other again. We've worked well as a team as well. Yeah. Bombs behind the camera. <laughs> um, but we've heard well as a team, so hopefully the fly isn't delayed too much yeah. longer. Uh, but we'll get ourselves home, and yeah, thank you for today. No, thank you, John. It's been great. Wonderful. I've made it back. The time is 21.54. Well, I actually made it back 20 minutes ago. So, <laughs> uh, I made it back 20 minutes ago. I've eaten dinner and I'll tell you what, this looks very inviting. I'm trashed, but I've really enjoyed the day. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I, I've done my match return. I did it in the airport, because the airport, the plane was delayed like two and a half hours in the end. Um, which is fine, it doesn't take away the, the whole day itself because I've really enjoyed it. Uh, but I'm going to get some sleep and I'm, I've got to go to Ref6 HQ tomorrow so I'm going to debrief the game tomorrow at Ref6 HQ when I've got my head screwed on because it's probably somewhere in Guernsey at the moment because I'm that tired. So, you know, I will catch you guys tomorrow. I, I, I can't even speak. Catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. So, I am going to analyse the Guernsey game. Um, so, obviously, it was Monday, my holiday. Um, and we've had highlights, and so I thought I'd go through them. It's been a bit of a weird week. It's Wednesday now, so um, it's been a bit of a weird week, but I'll explain that in a, in a bit. So we'll go through the old Ref6 stats, and I'm doing it on my desktop, so I'll put the screenshots on here now. As you can see, I only ran 8.5k. Um, I'm going to contribute this to a factor of it being um, quite a small pitch um, in all seriousness, and it's a bit one-way traffic to be honest 
So, but if we look at the heat map, we're getting out of those areas in terms of uh, not so much in the middle, very much in the center, not encroaching on my assistance as well. So actually a nice heat map overall, I think. The big splodge um, in the goal mouth was because one of the keepers went down injured and I was must, was, must have been standing there for about two, two, three minutes. So that's obviously why that's extended there. Um, I will contribute this heat map massively to this new change in position, especially on a smaller pitch. I felt like I had more freedom to scan, look where players were um, and whatnot. So I was quite happy with that. In terms of sprints, no big ones. Like I said, it was a small pitch. I didn't really need to bomb it down. I wasn't out of position. There were no quick breaks. Um, it was quite easy shut up shot really. So you can see a lot of mediums, a lot of highs. So overall, a, quite a solid performance right, statistically wise. Um, I don't really have too much to improve in terms of sprinting ability. Like um, there were some quite nice constant sprints, which means that I was keeping up with play and stuff. I probably, if we look at the distance covered by speed, um, I spent maybe a little bit too much time standing and maybe should have spent a little bit more time walking, uh, in my personal opinion. Um, so that's comes with me because I think genuinely what I do is I stand make the decision and then move and I need to keep that fluid but that will come in time okay so moving on to the highlights package um, if we moving on to the highlights package uh, this is what Guernsey sent me in terms of having a, a quick look around uh, as you can see they're all shaking hands here ball boys and everything were there but I gave a penalty after 30 seconds. So if we have a look, it's the first incident. Here we come. Here it is. The ball comes out. You can't see me. They're quite zoomed in. They were quite a professional club in terms of uh, this package, shall we say. Ball comes out. He's made contact there. Tripped him up. Easy pen. You can see me walking in now. I'm quite... Maybe it's 30 seconds in. Maybe I need to blow the whistle and assert my authority a little bit more. Um, so you can see the new kit looks good uh, very relaxed very calm easy no one really complained we then had a bit of a sort of argy bargy here it came out of almost nowhere look I give the free kick ball comes over they've clashed heads there's nothing against it there's no elbows there's nothing they've clashed heads so I've called the trainer over straight away uh, and then this guy comes running in and it, they just all seem to surround me and I'm like whoa whoa gents no there's no need for this and then we have the keeper which I tell him that's not happening we're not playing this game anymore um, and then the, the last real highlight of the game was this penalty shout so like that that is it that is the penalty shout so it flicks up and the guy flinches and it hits his arm he doesn't know anything about it and this caused a little bit of aggro. So this is a tweet that got sent um, out after that because obviously it shows a snapshot of it hitting the guy's arm and not. There must have it must have hit his arm for one frame. Um, and this caused a little bit of aggro. Um, it's the first time that I've been tweeted about in terms of uh, not. A, it's not a hateful comment. It's not a nice comment, but it's not a hateful comment. Um, you know, he's angry, it's passion, but there's just no need for it. But it's the first time that's happened to me in terms of it made it onto my group chat and a lot of the boys were like, you know, what the hell happened? Um, and I, at this point, you don't have the highlights. So you have the pictures first and then the highlights. So, you know, it's quite difficult to accept because you just have to be like, oh, that looks bad. But then when you look back on the highlights, it's fine. Uh, so it's a bit frustrating, um, you know, a bit disappointed about how people have gone about that because um, you know you try and build a rapport with everyone and you know they kind of like they don't ask you the question like why they just sort of like bin you or like not bin you but sort of hate on you straight away and you're kind of like oh, I'm a bit stuck here that's a bit naff uh, but overall I really enjoyed the day um, I'm improving every game at the moment as well and I'm becoming more and more confident in myself and in operating at this level so you know we move on um, we'll park this. I've, you know, enjoyed the day. I loved it. I was a bit tired, but I loved the day in general. I was still able to perform tired, which is good. I kept myself busy. So yeah, we move on. Um, the highlights, I think, show I did well. Um, but 
overall, you know, I'm happy with how it went and we move on to the next one. So that is it. Another weekly vlog done. Guernsey away has been completed. Um, you know, we've come off the back of, you know, a negative tweet and a negative experience online. But in overall, a positive day. I've gone over the footage with my coach, my dad, my friends, and they all agree I'm correct in law and correct. It's just about dealing with, you know, expectations of other people now. And, you know, this is what game three for me in the middle. Um, so we're slowly getting uh, more and more confident as sort of the weeks go on. So it's going well. We've just got to keep this momentum going. I haven't got a game next week yet because I think FA Cup fixtures are being replayed today. And um, so hopefully we get an FA Cup next week. But until then, I will catch you next week for the next Ref6 weekly vlog. See ya.